Hi everybody. Um, welcome to math. Today we are going to be going over graphing, specifically pictographs. A pictograph is a graph with pictures on it. Thank you. Really obvious. I love that name, pictograph. Um, this graph, the title is Number of Cookies Sold. And these are all the kids that sold cookies. We have Rob, Ava, Brad, and Hannah. Now each pictograph shows pictures representing a number. For these, each cookie represents one. So when we're looking, we can see that Rob sold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cookies. So each box represents one cookie. So go ahead right now, count how many did Ava sell? How many cookies did Ava sell? Yep, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, what about Brad? I'll give you a second to check all of Brad's. How many cookies did Brad sell? Did you say eight? Eight. So Brad sold eight cookies and Hannah sold four cookies. You're right, you're good. You've got this. So the questions for here ask you some of those very same questions that we just did. How many cookies did Rab sell? How many cookies did Ava sell? How many did Brad sell? And how many cookies did Hannah sell? Now, the part, what, nope, who sold the fewest cookies? What does fewest mean? Hmm, what do you think? All right, let's check it out. Get your mirrors ready. Now, if you don't know what this is, you just have to copy me. Pretend you're my mirror. Mirror works. Fewest means the smallest amount. Say it with me. Fewest means the smallest amount. So if we look at the pictograph again, who sold the fewest or the smallest amount? Rob, Ava, Brad, or Hannah? Who sold the fewest amount? So we know that Rob sold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rob sold seven. Ava sold one, two, three, four, five. Brad sold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Hannah sold. One, two, three, four. So who sold the fewest? Which one is the smallest? Kind of hard to see, isn't it? Ooh, it made it worse. Yep. Which one sold the fewest? Raise your hand if you think Rab. Ava? Raise your hand if you think Brad sold the fewest. What about Hannah? You got it. Hannah sold the fewest cookies because she only sold four and everybody else sold more. Absolutely. Hannah. Who sold the most cookies? I feel like most is easier. Most means, yep, fake. Who sold the most? Rob, Ava, Brad, or Hannah? Look carefully. All right. Raise your hand if Rob sold the most. Raise your hand if Ava sold the most. Raise your hand if Brad sold the most. Or raise your hand if Hannah sold the most. Wow, everybody picked Brad, nice job. Yep, Brad sold the most cookies. Nice job. This is tricky now. You ready? Because this is the hardest part of graphing. All right, don't tell any teacher I told you that, but it is. This is the tricky part. All right, how many more cookies did Brad sell than Hannah? And I'm gonna show you a trick, all right? These are tricks that teachers aren't supposed to teach kids because it makes it so easy for them. Don't tell them, shh, it's okay. All right, so it says, how many more? So that's that key word, that key phrase, how many more. 
where we have to figure out what the difference is, kind of like subtraction, between Brad and Hannah. So we're going to look at Brad and Hannah. All right, so how many more? We know Brad sold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Hannah sold one, two, three, four. So how many more did Brad sell? Well, these two are the same. These two are the same. These two are the same. And these two are the same. So how many more did Brad sell? How did you know that? See, I told you this is true. It's tricky, but this little trick makes it so much easier. You are right. Four. Brad sold four more than Hannah because they both sold one, two, three, four. But Brad sold one, two, three, four more. Nice job. You ready? Last question. How many cookies were sold in all? What does that mean? In all. That's our key word. In all. Yep, all together. So what do we have to do? Do we have to subtract or do we have to add? Show me. Tell me either subtract or add. Yep, we add all of them together. So we could do 7 plus 5 plus 8 plus 4. It's a lot of math going on. Or if you don't want to be that tricky or you don't have extra paper to do this on, you can just count them up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Help me out. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. How many cookies were sold in all? Twenty-four cookies. All right. Now, why don't you try one on your own? Let's look at this. Breakfast drink. The title of this pictograph is what we drink for breakfast. You are going to need your paper, whether it's in your folder or your notebook. And this is how I want you to set it up. So right now, go ahead and get it. Just like we said, we want you to write your name the assignment, which is math day one, and then today's date, which is 318 or March 18th. My daughter's birthday is today, by the way, 2020. So go ahead and fill that up. Just like we said, we want you to write your name, the assignment, which is math day one, and then today's date, which is 318 or March 18th. It's my daughter's birthday is today, by the way, 2020. So go ahead and fill that up. Jessie, you're gonna answer these questions on here and turn it into us once we get back. All right, all set? Okay, let's get started. Breakfast drink, look at our three drinks. We have milk, hot cocoa, and juice. This is tricky because I like these two the most. Hmm. All right, let's see. The milk box equals one, the hot cocoa equals one, and the juice equals one. So each picture equals one child. How many children drink milk for breakfast? How many drink milk for breakfast? This is where I want you to write your answer down, right on here. I want you to write the number one. All right, so we're actually gonna number all of them now. There are seven questions. So go ahead, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go ahead and that side of the paper, number one through seven, and this is where you're going to write the answers down. All right, so I'm not going to show you, well, I'll come back and show you mine every once in a while, but I will not write the answers, <laughs> okay? That's for you to do. All right, so 
The first question was, how many children drink milk for breakfast? Go ahead and write your answer right on number one. So how many drink milk? All right, number two. How many children drink hot cocoa? So I want you to write how many drink hot cocoa on number two. Nice job. All right, number three. What do most children drink for breakfast? Use that most. So what do most children drink for breakfast? That means which one has the most? So you're either gonna write milk, hot cocoa, or juice. And number three, right here, number three. What do most children drink for breakfast? Milk, hot cocoa, or juice? Those are your choices. Write it right here on number three. All right, number four. I can help you with this one. How many more children drink juice than milk? Now we're gonna compare juice and milk. Ready? It's how many more drink juice than milk. All right, so we're going to draw lines. Remember, one for each one. So these are the same, these are the same, these are the same, these, 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 and these. So how many more chose juice? That is question number four. So number four, how many more chose juice? We're gonna write the number down right there. Nice job. And number five, how many fewer children drink hot cocoa than juice? So this time, instead of comparing milk and juice, we're gonna do hot cocoa and juice. And we do the same thing, even whether it's fewer or more than, we do the same thing, we're going to draw the line. Let me get a different color marker. I will use blue. All right, so how many fewer children drink hot cocoa than juice? So hot cocoa and juice. One, oh, those two are the same, they both have three. They both have four and they both have five. So now these are the ones. How many fewer children? Well, we know they both have one, two, three, four, and five. So this one doesn't have these extras. So how many fewer? That is question number five. So write it right here, question number five. How many fewer children drink hot cocoa, then juice. Nice. All right, number six. How many children like milk and hot cocoa all together? All together. What does all together mean? Does all together mean subtract or add? All right, so. How many children like milk and hot cocoa? Let me give you a second. Milk and hot cocoa. Count them up. And you're gonna write it down on number six. So number six is how many children like milk and hot cocoa? I'm gonna mess them up. I'll do better next. All right, and number seven, which breakfast drink do children like the least? Remember what least meant? Look at our mirror words, least. Which one likes the least? You are gonna write that down, number seven. So which one do children like the least? Awesome. All right, nice job. If you need to go back and answer the questions, go ahead. 
this will be up for a while. I do have one assignment for you to send to your teacher because we're going to use this information next time. So the question that I want you to answer, which is the coolest robot? So many cool choices. Is it robot A? Is that the coolest? B or C? Which one do you think is the coolest robot? I want you to message your teacher and either tell robot A, robot B, or robot C. And then we will work on this next time. I will get all your data and we're going to talk about it. You're going to be famous. All right? So do you like robot A the best, robot B the best, or robot C the best? Let us know. Let your teacher know. All right. It was nice seeing you today. I really hope you do math all throughout the day. Count silverware, count your socks, count your shoes, count your toys. Count how many points you have on whatever video game you're playing. All right. Count how many pages you read in your books. Keep reading. Bye, guys.